What's up, gang? How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the hellscape. <laughs> <laughs> right my name my name is brian otherwise known as incredibly average this oh, i pointed the right way this is <laughs> jacks otherwise known as jacks yep. and uh we're we're gonna be bringing you another another live edition and installment of amber heard's 2016 deposition yes and, indeed uh, this this is part four should be scrolling across the bottom there right now this is part four uh hi from ohio it's got some people getting in here already what's up everybody good to see you on a friday i put out a poll for this and uh we actually picked the least voted for option yeah unfortunately <laughs> on the thing because that's just how our schedules worked out yeah uh, jack's had some stuff going on i i definitely had some stuff going on my uh kind of uh back to work and work schedules and dogs and vets and everything else so um yeah we kind of split the diff on some stuff and went with uh 5 p.m eastern which is so that's 2 p.m out there right Jax? yes out there in the in the west in the sunshine yep. no, sunshine states florida that's out there florida. In the, that's florida the golden that state the golden state that's it <laughs> uh all right hello from kentucky and thank you for all that you do. Give a shout out to Kentucky. Go Cats. Shout out. Um, hope everyone has their deal. libations of choice ready. Yeah, this hope, afternoon. You, hope, <laughs> hope you're ready to go. Uh, okay, yeah. Everyone, can they let me know where it is, what time it is, where you is? So I've got like 10 p.m. in the UK. So it's a little late over there. But it's if, if you can hang with us for a little bit, this is a little yeah. bit shorter. Uh, this is a little bit of a shorter one. We went a little over on the last one. So for those of you who don't know, I'm this is broken up into what I'm considering volumes. I've released volume one, which was uh, parts one and two that we did live. And I released volume one uh, recently, which is just no commentary or anything like that. I, I do suggest if you want commentary and some more background information, everything on what we're talking about, and what she's talking about in, in the deposition, uh, then to... Uh, please be sure and, and go back and watch the commentary. But it's there uh, if you don't wish to have that. Um, this will end volume two. So part three was the first part of volume two. Uh, this part four will be the end of volume two. And then this will go up before we start part five. So there will be four volumes, eight parts, each one roughly an hour. We went about an hour and 18. So we've only got about 40 minutes or so in this one which gives us plenty of time to talk about some stuff because we are finally going to get into the accusations, finally. <laughs> the, the accusations. We have talked about drugs and doo-doo and dogs and a lot of, <laughs> and a lot of alliteration when it comes to that. We've had the, the dogs, uh, I, everyone got a kick out of that the Jack's last time. The, yeah. the, the giant, the giant, uh, teacup Yorkie, the brick, the brick the <laughs> that, that is a four pound teacup Yorkie. Oh, that God. she that she knew she had to lie about. If you haven't seen that, uh, go back and check it out. It's our part three. It's on my channel. Uh, we did a live on it, and it'll also drop as uh, the once I put it all together for volume two. Uh, but if you don't want to wait, and I would recommend if you want, we do have some good laughs sometimes. I know this is yeah serious, this is some serious stuff, but you just gotta laugh. Got uh, to laugh it off sometimes because holy cow. That's the only way uh, I got through the last six years with this nonsense. Just <laughs> laughing at the parts that need to be laughed at. Yeah. Lord. So um, I've got some stuff ready to pull up today. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and star some super chats while we while we do some stuff and um, get it going. Interrupt as much as you'd like to preface the questions at hand or give more detail to what she's saying and lying about. I will be doing that today because. Uh, there's just a lot to talk about yeah. today, so uh, we'll we'll get to it. Let's see. All right. So without further ado, we got about 1,400, 1,500 almost in here. Nice. Very and, nice. And uh, I'm seeing all kinds of times fly in here. Hello from Australia. Hello, hello, hello. Let me find some times. Scroll through the chat. There's got to be a better way to uh, sort this out, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Secret McSquirrel's asking if you can put on slow mode. Slow mode. Yeah, I can. I can probably do that. All 
All right, let me try and pull this up. Jax, if you want to uh, kind of take over for a bit in terms, if you can see the chat, if there's any times or anything coming in that you can scroll through. I don't know if you can do that. Oh, yeah. No, I can't actually. Not from you... StreamYard. <gasps> All right, well, let me uh, see if I can turn on slow mode. I thought I had it on. I thought I had it on like a 15 second, but I will, uh, I'll go to studio real quick. Do and, it. And get it done. Cause I think hopefully it doesn't slow me down too much. Let's see settings. Let's see where's slow mode. Where's slow mode. in there somewhere in the live settings yeah general channel it's community we got it yeah we'll get it maybe where's slow mode help me out Chat, where is it? Chat, where's slow mode? I know I've done this before. Community. Oh, that's just just where I can add people is. Yeah, I think if you go to the actual video. Mm -hmm. I believe it's in there. All right, let me see. Let me go back to it then. Oh, yeah. Edit video. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it going while everyone piles in here. Pile on in. Get your drinks. Get your everything. Let's get ready. Get ready for some more word salad. Slow mode. What do we want it at? 15, 20 seconds? Yeah. We'll go 15. We'll just go 15 to slow it down a little bit. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> and then we'll go to subscribers, five minutes. I don't know why I got to do this, son. I guess I got to remember to do this on every video. Yeah. Cool, cool. We'll do. All right. Cool. Back to it, back to it, back to it. Off we go. <laughs> Into the wild blue yonder. My God. <laughs> <laughs> my god oh all right let's god. see uh let's see how this rolls let's make sure let's make sure here we go we got about 1800 eyeballs in here right now good not pulling any wi-fi she's looking all right Jax. yeah it looks fine okay I'm going to mute myself then and let her talk. Okay. What is it? We're back on the line. No, no we have, sorry, K. We have I and J. K. Thank you. Um, good afternoon again, Ms. Hurd. Hi. Ms. Hurd, uh, do you recall um, uh, signing a sworn declaration in support of your claim seeking a domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp? I do, I do remember signing a declaration. Are you asking specifically about the declaration for divorce or um, restraining order? I'm asking specifically about the declaration you uh, signed in support of your request for a restraining order. Yes. Okay. Showing you what will be marked as Respondents K. Do you recognize that document? 
It's a one, two, three, <clears throat> four page document. Do you recognize that document? Take your time. The same when I filed this. Look this at the last the page. And uh, have you had an opportunity to read through that document? I briefly read it. Okay. Just now. Do you need to read it in any more detail to know that it's what you said? It seems like... Yes. Yes, what? This looks like um, the document I am signed and I'm familiar with. And so I feel as though um, having read it as briefly as I just did, that I, I can say that. Do you need any more time to be able to say that that's the document you filed <clears throat> when you signed uh, under penalty of perjury for your DVRO? Do just, you need any more time? Just objection, best evidence rule. Um, you know, the, the actual signed document would be the best evidence. Is the document before you in uh, uh, Respondents K, the document that you signed in support of your domestic violence restraining order? Best evidence rule, the document filed in court would be the best evidence. Ms. Um, Her, just so there's no claim that you've been tricked in any way, because my intention is not to trick you in any way. 
Thank are you. the statements contained in the document that you've just identified as the direct declaration you filed in support of your domestic violence restraining order? Real quick, guys. How bad? How bad is the lag on my end? Pretty bad. Pretty significant. It's just a little choppy, and the audio is a little bit choppy. Okay. But the 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 video itself, like, just so you guys know, this is not an HD video or anything like that. It is going to be slightly blurry. Okay. Let me uh, and if if we need to, if if we want, we can troubleshoot and try to pull uh pull yours up. But it's. It's uh yeah, it's not an HD video at all. Like it's not 720. I'd say at best it's like 480p. Yeah. In in the way that it's done, um, if if it does um, continue to lag and everything like that, we can we can try it on your end if you want, Jax. If you, For sure. Yeah. And Let's see if it sorts it itself out. out. I it just uh, the only part that sucks is I don't have the watermarks. That's well, I mean, I'll just do I'll have to do what I did last time and just post uh, afterwards, you know? Yeah. That's just how it is. And um, but we'll we'll give it a we'll give it another go here and see what happens. It's just a little bit skippy. Let's hopefully we can just get through it and then when we put up the actual volume it'll be fine. Yeah, once well when I put up the volumes, yeah, it's as it's as clear as it can possibly be because I'm uploading the actual video i'm not streaming the video someone yes. said to someone said to lower my um resolution to to deal with the lag but i don't not really sure how to lower the resolution we'll try it Let's see on may 26 2016 are each of those statements true and correct to the best of your knowledge. It, it's a compound question. If you want to go through each statement and affirm, that would be fine. That would okay. be the better way to do it. Again, uh, Mr. Harder continue, continues to make speaking objections that are improper and inappropriate for these proceedings, and I would ask him to make legal objections for the record. Compound is the legal objection, and I explained it briefly. Ms. Hamber, uh, Ms. Hurd, are you aware that you have sworn under penalty of perjury that each of the statements you made in your declaration were true, yes. were truthful? Yes? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. And um, in your declaration, you describe, you make allegations about something that happened, you say, on April 21, 2016. Does that sound familiar? It sounds familiar, yes. Okay. Do you remember April 21, 2016? What part of that day? Any of the events that you think are significant? I remember uh, my birthday party dinner, and I remember um, John. I'm not asking you, I'm sorry, I'm not asking oh. you what you remember right now. I'm asking you, do you remember the do events? Remember, Are they clear in your mind? I remember any specific events. Any yes. events related to these allegations you've made? Yes. Okay, okay. Ms. Hurd, in your declaration, do you uh, say uh, that uh, Johnny and I pointing you so you can be uh, very clear, paragraph seven of the declaration. Do you say uh, in your sworn declaration, Johnny showed up inebriated and high in that declaration? I, uh, let me find it. Yeah, I do, yes. And when you say he showed up inebriated high and high uh, in your declaration, to what are you referring to? What, what, what uh, uh, time of the day and what day are you referring to? Which question are you asking me? Okay. Um, let are me you asking me? Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Thank you. 
Do you say, do you swear in your declaration and state that on April 21, 2016, I celebrated my birthday with my friends at the Broadway residence? Yes, I do say that in my declaration. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Do you also say in your declaration, quote, as everyone was preparing to leave my birthday party, to leave my birthday party, Johnny showed up inebriated and high. Wait. Yeah. Yes, I do say that. Okay. What time <coughs> did Johnny show up? All right, if I can interject just for a second. So, like, she won't even answer. She doesn't like that she's being... Uh, Held, res held, held responsible for what she said in, in her initial statement, in her declaration right. when she was getting the TRO. And for those wondering, um, I'll, I'll pull it up real quick. She's talking about this line right here. Um, right there. On April, on April 21st, 2016, this is Amber's initial de declaration. In 2016, in May of 2016, it says on April 21st, I celebrated my birthday with my friends at the Broadway residence. As everyone was preparing to leave my birthday party, Johnny showed up inebriated and hide. Again, she says two things here. As everyone was preparing to leave, Johnny showed up because he has to be late. And for him to be late, he has to have missed the whole doggone thing. Yep. Because that makes him just that much worse of a husband. Right. And and so as everyone was preparing to leave, Johnny shows up inebriated and high and Amber doesn't like that. She's like, you keep saying hi. Why? Well, because you said it. So now Amber's right. like, well, crap. Now I got to go with it. Now I got to go with this and we got to figure this out. Yep. So um, anyway, that's that's the statement she's talking. Meanwhile, about. just for a reminder, Johnny was at a meeting about yeah. his business affairs. Yeah. With Ed White and several other people. Yeah, but these are the. This is the talking point. You know, this mm -hmm. is Johnny has a long-held and widely acknowledged public and private history, and she was going to use that. She was going to use that against him that he yep. did have a public. You know, there were admissions of it. Um, so, uh, I just see this question real fast about: yeah. Do we have Johnny's deposition too? He did not do a deposition for the divorce proceedings. There is Correct. no deposition from 2016 for him. Created. Correct. Uh, yeah, pe people have asked that a few times. I've also seen the uh, the confusion that this was for the UK trial. Oh yeah, this no. was this this was not. I've seen people say that. Uh, some people that have grabbed it, used it, and everything else. This was not her testimony for the UK trial. This was her initial testimony. Mere months, I mean, just a few months after making her her initial claims in 2016, when everything should have been fresh in her mind and she should have been the most traumatized we've ever seen her. And yep. this is, this is what you're getting. I, I think this should be used as a comparison point to what we saw in Virginia in terms yeah. of how traumatized she tried to portray herself in Virginia and how combative she is here versus then. And this is fresh after the alleged abuse. Yeah. So. And Ra Raquel's is the same way. When we get into that, we saw her, her new deposition in Virginia when she's being questioned by Amber's lawyer, she's all waterworks and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But her deposition in 2016 is when, when we see that it's a completely different. An and that's not that one. Ra Raquel's was even uh, far, uh, far closer in, in proximity of date yeah. and everything else. Raquel's was like middle of June. So yep. maybe like three weeks after Amber initially filed for the, the restraining order and Raquel is it's a it's a just completely different animal. That, yeah. So here we go. Back to it. I'll turn yeah, the this camera off. Be, the, yeah. This works this works better with our cameras off when it's not trying to like stream our voices, our faces and everything. So I'll just jump in when when I need to. Uh and when you see my camera pop up, you can be like, ah, damn it. <laughs> All right, here we go. And hi to the birthday party. I don't remember the exact time. Created and hot. Wait. Yeah. Yes, I do say that. Okay. What time <clears throat> did Johnny show up inebriated and high to the birthday party? I don't remember the exact time. Okay. 
But, but I do remember it was after the dinner had been completed. Okay. And your, so your statement that uh, he showed up inebriated high and high as everyone was preparing to leave my birthday party is truthful, correct? You, why are you repeating hi? I don't have that on here. Maybe we have different drafts. Wait. Yeah. Just, just twice now. To say, I, I was just making sure we had the same draft. Can you repeat it, please? Are you looking at paragraph seven? Yes. Can you repeat your question, yes. please? Um, do you make the statement in paragraph seven, as everyone was preparing to leave my birthday party, Johnny showed up, comma, inebriated and high? Yes. You do make that statement? Yes. Okay. So that statement is true, correct? Yes. Okay. To the best of my knowledge. Well, were you there? Yes, I was. Did you see him when he arrived? Yes. Is it your testimony he was inebriated and high? Yes, it is my testimony. Is that the truth? As far as I could tell, yes. Okay. I am not Johnny, so I, you know. Okay. Tell me. Anyone else a little annoyed? Because I've watched this several times and it gets very annoying. The, the whispery, like, I'm not even going to give you the satisfaction of me speaking up. Yes. sort of thing where she even she asked her again she's like yes and she's mm -hmm. like i'm sorry i can't hear you and she goes yes like yep. she re she refuses to elevate her voice right here because she wants to talk down to i feel like yeah um, totally think so and, and this whole like i'm not johnny so i don't know newsflash you're she's not johnny folks uh she wishes and exactly uh it's it's just funny how she answers that in a in a sense of like well I'm not Johnny so I don't know if he was or not but yet you claim you always knew when he was so you you also saw the point where she tried to make Blair look stupid you keep saying hi I don't know why you keep saying that because it's it's right what there. you wrote it's, it's right there in black and white and she goes yeah but she's done it like twice already and so it's very very annoying um, to have her sit there and just softly yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh. it's I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. And she, yeah, someone so says she's condescending. She's, yeah, someone says she's baiting the attorney. Yes. Yeah. Where's is, where is that at? Right, right there. Sorry, I'll yeah. pull up some super chats here in a minute too, guys. But I just, sometimes I see these and, and, uh, and I see it. Yeah, the smirking. Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone pointing that out. So anyway, back to it. Tell me exactly what you observed in Johnny Depp when he first arrived at your birthday party that made you conclude that he was inebriated and high. <coughs> because I know Johnny. I know Johnny very well. Can you describe for us anything and everything you saw when you saw Johnny, who you know, that made you conclude he was inebriated and high? <coughs> What made me, what gave me the impression that Johnny was inebriated and high? Um, many things. I know him very well. Okay. So first, we'll, yes, go ahead. I'd like you to describe them, so please do. Uh, describing the things that give me the impression uh, that Johnny is, or was, inebriated and high, um, First and foremost, he was hours late. Um, I don't want to guess, but I would, I, I estimate two hours. Um, could be a little more. Uh, that's a first sign. Knowing how important someone's 30th birthday party uh, your wife's birthday party is, uh, and, and being that late tells me, um, first and foremost, that he is out. Uh, when he's out, as he had been um, a lot in the months prior, he uh, spent a lot of time drinking and doing a lot of cocaine. I know that because of um, 
how he would return home after these kinds of dinners. So he comes back, uh, and I could tell by, um, first of all, that he had wine in his hand. Um, I could tell by his um, speech um, nuances and his behavior and, um, you know, getting up every 15 minutes uh, to go to the bathroom uh, is, uh, in, in my experience with him, a telltale sign of his coke use, which had been a problem as of late. Um, and then he would, and then he disappeared quickly. His behavior is just aggressive, short fuse. I could tell he was using a lot of Adderall in the month prior, uh, which was making him very aggressive towards me, aggressive towards criticism and the paranoia, which um, is a, a extremely, it's exacerbated when he's using a lot of, um, when he's smoking a lot of marijuana. So all of these things, plus the fact that he was smoking marijuana in front of me uh, uh, at some point at the night, all tell me he was <clears throat> under the influence. Ms. Uh, Hurd, I asked my question to you uh, was, uh, were, uh, what, what signs did you see when he first arrived that Johnny Depp was, uh, as you say, um, inebriated and high when you first saw him come in that evening? tell he was inebriated and high when he entered the room. Okay. I could tell by how he walks. I could tell because he was so late to something that was very important. Okay, so tell. he was, just to be clear, he was late and how he was walking. Not limited to those two things. Okay. Shall I continue? Well, or do you want me to just pretend that that interruption was done? Like, that was it. I'm not. Yikes. Uh, so Fucking yeah, hell, see, seeing the, seeing the claws come out a little bit right here. Right. So again, nuances, uh, and she knows Johnny very well. And then she has to like fish for the answer. Yeah. And, uh, apparently he was late and being late meant he was out and being out meant he was doing cocaine. Cause that's just what that means. Partying. Um, right. Yeah. And uh, other people are already catching on that. She says, well, he had a bottle of wine in his hand and he was smoking marijuana in front of her, you'll find out later that that's per She her asked him to per, bring per, it. Per her request. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Fuck. he shows up with what he, she said to show up with, and now she's using that against him. Yep. So, uh, and then the, the interruption. So Blair's just trying to hammer, you know, like pin down at least. Okay, so you're saying, so I'm finally starting to get an answer out of you because he was late and the way he was walking. And then right. Amber doesn't like that. She's like, well, I was, shall I continue? Well, you said nothing so far. So yeah, please do. Um, <laughs> so in, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll track that back so you can see it in all, all its glory, how, how upset she gets. She goes from smirking, very much feeling like she's in control of this conversation to now, you know, don't cut me off. Mm -hmm. I, I was on a roll. I, the answer was finally coming to me. <laughs> so please don't interrupt uh, my my groove. You've thrown off the improved groove. And she knew uh, very well that he was going to be late. There are multiple texts about it. Yes. All right. God bless. <laughs> the room I could tell by how he walks I could tell because he was so late to something that was very important okay so tell. he was just to be clear he was late and how he was walking not limited to those two things okay shall I continue well, or do you want me to just pretend that that interruption was done like that was it I'm not intending to interrupt you I just oh, want okay. to be clear what more. you said please yeah, continue his uh, behavior, his um, speech, speech patterns, his uh, um, highly volatile, aggressive um, kind of uh, reaction to, um, to physically, you know, uh, the, the small, intimate 
um, details you pick up on when you know someone really well. Um, they were all tilted uh, in, into the direction of, of um, somebody who was under the influence of, of, of the things I just mentioned. Okay. So at the moment, at the time you saw him enter your birthday party, um, uh, from, the, from the way he was, fact that he was late, way that he was walking, his peach patterns, and those things you can intuit from his behavior, you believed, uh, as you said, that he was inebriated and high, correct? Not to mention his um, frequent, uh, the, the, the frequent tr trips to the bathroom, um, the um, taste of cocaine when I kissed him, um, kind of the, behave the small intimate behaviors that you pick up on when you're sitting next to someone. Okay, when did you first kiss him, Miss Her? Um, you, you interrupted her. I, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I guess, what <laughs> other things do I think I, um, were, were signs that he was inebriated and high? Um, aggression, lack of um, eye contact, uh, subtle nuances in his, um, uh, in his behavior, um, and the, the, the fact that he um, didn't participate in a way that I have seen him participate socially in my birthday. We were, um, you know, the small subtle things and they became grossly amplified as soon as everyone um, started leaving the party. How many people were there when you saw Johnny arrive? Uh, I don't know the exact <coughs> number. Can you identify anyone else there when you saw Johnny arrive? Do you mean, do I know who was at my birthday party? Is that what you mean? No, I mean, can you identify for us anybody <coughs> else who was present when you saw Johnny arrive? We all saw Johnny arrive. Everybody at my party did. Can you identify for us who, was that, who were those people were? Yes, they were my close friends and uh, family. By name? Um, I know um, Melanie Iglesias was there, Erin Borum, her partner, um, uh, Melanie, uh, Melanie's partner, um, his name is Steve, I don't know his last name, um, my sister, a boyfriend of hers at the time. Name? Um, we were just dating briefly. His name was um, God, what was his name? I'll think of it. I, I Whitney, new boyfriend every few months. Um, Your sister has a new boyfriend every few months. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this one was God, what was his name? I forget his name right now, but I'll think of it. Okay. Um, Could you let us know? Maybe give your attorneys that so they can let us absolutely. know. Absolutely. Great. Uh, anyone else present when you saw um, Johnny give these symptoms that you described? Um, let's see. Josh Drew, um, Raquel Pennington, uh, Amanda Decadene, um Somebody else there, I, th I feel like. Oh, uh, Brandon McCulloch. Um, and I, I think that's it. I could, if I'm forgetting anyone, it's just, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm forgetting anyone. Okay. Uh, when Johnny first arrived, where was everybody in the apartment? Had there been guests? Oh, uh, Christy Sexton. Christy Sexton. Is that S D X T O N? Uh -huh. Okay. Sure, sir. Uh, when Johnny first arrived, uh, you say uh, approximately two hours late. Um, uh, was there anyone? Were any of these people still in the apartment? Yes. Okay. Where were they? Any of these people? Were they all gathered in one location? Um, I think we were more or less milling about cleaning up plates from dinner. Um, 
moving moving about the apartment. Okay. So Johnny wasn't present when you were still eating at the table. Uh, some people might have still had their plates in front of them. I don't know to what um, extent they had finished. Okay. Because there's more than one person. Okay. Um, and um, when you described um, one of the signs you saw when you arrived that convinced you that he was inebriated and high, and you mentioned his aggression, could you describe exactly what you saw that made you feel he was be he was uh, 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 you were witnessing aggression? Um, it was subtle, uh, and it was in regards to. Uh, whisperings between him and I. Uh, as soon as I was sitting next to an empty chair my entire birthday dinner and when he walked in everyone kind of um, responded to the fact that there's this empty chair next to me that that uh, the whole night had just been awaiting <laughs> to be filled and so I think he when he sat down he kind of um, it was in his posture, it was in his body language, it was in um, how he um, reacted to me, what he said and what he, what he didn't say to me. You know, the normal, the normal behavior is to say, happy birthday, or, sorry I'm late, or whatever, and he was uh, quiet and subtly short with me, and um, when we spoke it was uh, very curt and um, dismissive and quiet and defensive. Um, it's, uh, the, uh, someone, someone made the comment, which I had said before, uh, while watching this one of the previous times, he was aggressive by avoiding eye contact. Yes. Yeah. He was, uh, she just, it's so many things that contradict one another that he was showing aggression, avoiding eye contact. Well, was he avoiding eye contact or was he being aggressive? And, and all these, like everything was just subtle nuances and intimate details you have to really know a person to know that they're being aggressive oh. right there it just in case somebody else says he wasn't it was like little whispers like just like he was just sitting at the table whispering to her like please wait like just yo Sammy sam just <laughs> like, like that's what it was under his breath the whole time no it wasn't you're also going to find out um, and, and this is, this is going to come out. It's, it's a little bit of a spoiler alert. She, she has to paint this picture. <laughs> I did a whole video on this. That's not done. It's like 50 minutes of it. And it's like an hour and a half long and it's got some of this and some of Raquel's in it, but I only got 50 minutes of it edited before the trial happened and everything oh, yeah. else. And I had all kinds of nice little edits. And at this point I have them all setting in, I've got the 3d model of the penthouse and I've got them all sitting around a table and I've got this empty chair next to Amber and I, sh <laughs> and I shine a singular light down on it and dim it everywhere else. And it plays a sad violin yes. over it. So, because that's the picture she's trying to paint mm -hmm. uh, for you. I I'll, I may pull that up like next time just to show people, I'll get it ready to pull up um, ne next live or something. But it was, I thought it was pretty funny. That is but, funny. Um, just, to kinda, just to kind of give this away. She says, Everyone was like milling about the apartment when Johnny arrived, but now everyone was at the table to look at Johnny when he arrived, <laughs> which was it. And right. there was an empty chair, you know, there, there was an empty chair next to her the entire night. But when we watch Raquel's and remember this, remember this very moment when she says there was an empty, just this sad, lonely chair next to her the whole night that Raquel says they actually had to make room for Johnny. You can read it. You can read her yep. deposition right now, but when you see her say it, that they had to make room for Johnny. So there was not an empty chair next to Amber. They had to make room so Johnny could sit next to Amber. Yep. So that's again, but she has to paint this awful picture. He didn't uh, arrive. In, he didn't arrive until it ended. No, everyone was still at the table. They had to make room for Johnny. He sat next to you. It's, it's, that's just how it goes. But Raquel kind of, you know, just blows that whole thing up by saying, no, we made room for Johnny when he got there. We were all at the table still. Yeah. Always with the damsel in distress. Yeah. So. Um, Ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah. So she, she paints this, this picture and, and of 
how he sits down at this and everyone just turns like Johnny opens the door. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's the movie. Like it's a fucking Johnny movie. Opens, Johnny opens the door and everyone's like, dun, dun, dun. Remember that old gif? Like it was yes. one of the first gifs ever made of like the shocked groundhog. Yes. Um, yeah. Lord. Anyway, I don't, I don't, I really don't mean to like make fun of or make light of this as much as I do, but it's I ridiculous. Do. It is ridiculous <laughs> that she's like, oh yeah. Uh, and she, uh, again, cocaine does, I mean, I assume she means like, you know, people snort it and then he, they do that with it and, and whatever. Yeah. And uh, that's what she's talking about. But she kissed him, but he was aggressive, but he was stumbling, but it was so many contradictory statements here. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wind this back just a, a little bit. So you get the full uh, breath of what she's trying to say here anyway. Okay. So, all right. his body language it was in um how he um reacted to me what he said and what he what he didn't say to me you know the normal the normal behavior is to say happy birthday or sorry i'm late or whatever and he was uh, quiet and subtly short with me and um when we spoke it was a uh, very curt and um dismissive and quiet and defensive Ms. Heard, uh, let me just um, remind myself for a second. I had asked you before our break to retrieve your cell phone from the car at the break. Did you, did you do that? Were you able to do I, that? I didn't bring it with me. I'm sorry. You did not bring your cell phone? No. So it was not in the car? No. Did you check? Yeah. You checked the car? No, I asked. I asked, asked Rodrigo. I, I asked um, them to ask Rodrigo. And Who's Rodrigo? My driver. Okay. Does Rodrigo know where your personal possessions are? Look, I don't have we're, anything. We're in not the required car, to. Let me just uh, enter an objection. We're not required to produce a telephone, so we're not going to do it. <clears throat> Miss um, Heard, um, did you have any idea? Did you have any knowledge? at the time Johnny showed up to your birthday party late, where he had been? Uh, he told me he was in a meeting, or he had a meeting. Did, he, did you have any awareness with who? No. You had no awareness as to who it was with? No, he said some uh, money guys. Some guys that um, were helping him, or some money guys, that's all he said. Okay. Um, and did you have any communications with him earlier in the evening about his being delayed or why he was late? No, but I do remember, not that I know of specifically, but I do remember speaking to him on the phone in the afternoon. And um, I said to him, do you know um, my, you know, you do know the time and we, it's at eight or whatever, I think eight, eight thirty, and he said, um, okay, well I just have a meeting at seven or something and I remember thinking to myself, it sounded a little it sounded a little um, tricky, but you know, it'd be really important if you I'd really appreciate you being there. You're you are coming, right? It's my birthday dinner and he said, Yeah, of course yeah, yeah. How many times did you call him? Uh uh, during this period? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Did you text him as well? I, I, I don't remember. I'm sure I did, but that would be, that's a guess. Don't guess. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Justify Showing you what will be marked as... They did text. I popped that up there really quick because they did text. Um, she knows exactly where he was. He yes. informed he informed her through text messages. I I tried to find them. They they were like buried somewhere in in uh, discovery, uh, but th they do exist. He, she knows exactly where he was. And for those who don't know, many ever pretty much everyone in the chat does. Uh, Johnny was at a meeting with his new business managers, his new financial partners, who were basically telling him that his old financial partners stole a whole bunch of money from him. And this was that meeting to kind of sort out the the plan and everything going forward, how to 
help resolve what they can resolve about it, what can't be, everything else. This was a very important meeting that he was at, and that's why he told her he could be running late, and all she cared about was this was my 30th birthday. Everyone who knows a 30th birthday is basically a christening that uh, <laughs> you cannot miss. Oh and um, so it's, it's just a big it's just a big deal. And um, 30, for Christ's sake. And so she knew where he was, and she's not – again, not giving you the satisfaction of knowing that she's like, well, he said he was with, she stops herself. If, if you go back and watch, she stops herself and says he was with some money guys, like making it sound mm -hmm. like it was some like mafia deal. Exactly. Like he, was, he was, he was with some money. He just said some money guys, you know, just some money guys. Hey, you know, they were just trying to, you know, they were trying to figure some things out, you know, and they was doing some stuff with some numbers. I don't know. It's pretty shady stuff, but like, so she says they were helping him and then stops herself. She's like, they were helping him. Never mind, just some money, guys, is all he said. Yeah. That's no, she knew exactly where he was, knew exactly why uh, he wasn't there. And now she's just, she's trying to pretend that he didn't even communicate with her. And he called her, he texted her several times. He was very apologetic. I, I wish I could find those texts. Like he was saying, uh, how sorry he was that he was yeah. still running behind and everything like that and that he loved her and 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 all that so um so i'll i'll wind that back just for a second uh, again just so you can see it in its entirety Jax, do you mind if i go through some of these real quick just for some no, people that maybe not. maybe have to maybe have to leave uh, sure, sure, I know, sure. I, i've seen some people that already have to go go to bed because it's late wherever they are uh, across the way so I'll go through some stuff real quick before they start confronting her with their text messages. Um, hello from Ohio. Excited and ready. Kristen Grove. Thank you very much, Kristen. Hi, Kirsten. Ohio. Kirsten. I'm sorry. Oh, I know that's, I know that probably happens to you a lot because I've, I've known some Kirstens that get mad to be called Kristen. So Kirsten Grove, $10. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ohio. Round on both ends and high in the middle. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Alice or Elise. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for that. Super nice. Lisa, thank you so much again. Uh, for those of you who maybe follow me on Twitter, you saw some of the stickers I've been creating. Some little uh, me emojis. Oh, my God. They're it's, so cute. It's my little face. I'll find them. I'll, <laughs> I'll actually pull them up and share them on here in a second while this is playing. I'll, I'll turn my camera off and go go digging for them. Uh, don't forget see, the mama paying five dollars. Don't forget your watermark. <laughs> Took the afternoon off for this. Thanks, guys. Thanks for taking the afternoon off. Thanks um, for coming through. I spent the afternoon getting ready for this, but it is technically my day off, so that's why I decided to do it this day. But nice. thank you so much, and the watermark is on there, as you can see. So, uh, Jill Downey, welcome back. Thank you for the super sticker, five dollars super sticker, Jill Downey. Um, I'm gonna make a Jill Downey sticker at this point. She's always on seriously here doing this. Uh, thank you so much, Jill. Sarah Gardner, thank you so much. Did these depots cost you money to get? Uh, they did not. Nope. They they did not. Um, let's see. This is a, quite the face to leave it on. She's not amused. <laughs> uh, M4A now. Yes. Thank you. If you don't hit like, you're an Amber Heard supporter. Hey, them's fighting words, but <laughs> too far off. Uh Johnny's girl, thank you for the two dollars. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. LOL. Me too. It's weird to be excited for this, but it is exciting to get on here and chat with everyone. I've, I'm trying to just like roll comments, and I did the slow mode, but I just kind of see a comment that it's like, hey, that's what I'm thinking right now. So I just pop it up for every sure. now and then. Uh, but these, I want to definitely make sure I get to. John O'Rourke, thank you for coming back, John. It's going to continue to get better. I can't imagine, but weirdly excited. Yeah. Yeah, it gets better, weirder, stranger, more irritating, however you want to describe it. She it's, gets uh, angrier. Wait till they start confronting her with the, the reverse allegations. Yes, wait till they yeah, wait till they start asking her about, you know, her abusive nature and tendencies yeah. and everything. Uh Mo, thank you so much. She's reading that document thoroughly, but didn't read her divorce or TRO documents. Yeah, right. I mean, she's taking her time. She's got to come up with answers. She's looking around the room. There's all yeah. kinds of maybe, maybe it's the bee your dog stepped on somewhere flying up above. Uh, the the kissy wissy. 
I remember we got corrected on this one. Uh, yes. Kissy Wissy. I do remember that. If I was lacking, oh, this was the one I saw. It said reduce your resolution, right. please. I think we resolved it by reducing our faces. Yes. Uh, fine by me. Fine by me. Um, mm. How do we send Jax a tip? You're both doing great. Thanks, Alyssa. Or Alisa, however you'd like to say it. Um, Thank you. That's super nice. Um, you can go over to the Movie Miss and Monsters YouTube channel, which I'm sure yep. uh, Secret McSquirrel will, will post in the chat here now. Yeah. Um, and you can leave a super thanks on any video that's up there. And thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Go show some love directly to Jax. Thank you. In the H818, thank you so much for the 20. Thank you. She weasels so much. It's actually amazing to watch. Yes, it is. I'm actually yes. going to, I'm going to, uh, let's see. Can I just like, let's pop hey. us back up here there. That way the play button was over that for some reason. Oh, uh, yeah, she, she wiggles around quite a bit with this. Trisha, thank you. Justice for Dan Markle equals research. Wendy at Adelson at all. Dan Markle, hmm. Dan Markle. Do we know who that is? It doesn't ring a bell for me. Dan Markle's. I think someone's asked about this before. Dan Markle. And we were, uh, I said I was going to look it up. So I'm going to, when I watch this back, I'm going to jot this name down, I'll jot it yeah. down right now. Dan Markle. And uh, look up what the hubbub is about that. Mo, thank you so much. Miss Heard, are you inebriated and high now? Um, the real questions that should be asked. Yeah, right. <laughs> He was just practicing his Jack Sparrow walk. Maybe. I oh mean, gosh. you know, he's a casual guy. He was probably probably just sauntered in and probably. And for right now, again, perfect. This is the best way to interject with facts. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I there's a lot to just break up here when she starts going off the rails, which is awesome yeah. at this point. My abuser was late to my birthday party. Freddie Stardust, thank you so much. Right. With the face palm. Yeah, right. My abuser, I couldn't, I couldn't wait for him to get there. I just knew he was angry and inebriated and ready to fight. I was dying for it. Anna, thank you so much for the five. Plus, he was out those two months, not as, uh, not as he was getting high, but because his mother was in the hospital in her last few months of life with family. Yeah, Johnny uh, did. He and his sister Christy testified that they were spending a lot of time in the final months with their mother. Yeah, uh, who was. Who was in her final days at that time? Uh, Mask 316, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can't thank you guys enough for all this, all the support. I really I appreciate, you I, I appreciate the heck out of you guys, uh, guys and gals. I, I say guys universally, and I'm trying to get out of that because I know some people uh, don't. It's hard to break. Sorry. It's hard. So yeah. it's, it's hard to break. Um, Mo, thank you again, Mo. So you're telling me he learned he lost millions and then walked into an expensive dinner. Yep, yeah, that was that was on his dime, by the way. Yes. At, in in his penthouses, that her and her friends lived in, and uh, that she and her friends lived in. Sorry, and was in a bad mood. No way. Yeah, color me shocked. Yep. Okay, so we'll get it get it right back. Get that off. Go right back to normals. And uh, see all righty, yeah, all right, all right, here we go back to it. Respondents L, <clears throat> uh, K, I believe. No, it's that you missed, you missed. Oh, I'm K. sorry, I'm sorry. Um, Well, before I do that, Miss Miss Hurd, let me be clear. Were you upset by the idea that he would show up to your birthday party uh, drunk and high? Did that upset you? That he was drunk and high? Yes. Yes, I would call it disappointed. Okay. Um, and did you, um, did you approve of him drinking alcohol? No. Was that something you supported? 
Did I support Johnny drinking alcohol? Yes. No. And did you support Johnny uh, drinking alcohol during this specific time, April 21, 2016? I was uh, disappointed and disheartened any time I saw him drinking, but I, it was not a um, deal breaker, oh my God, I'm walking away from you in this relationship as it had, had been in many iterations of our relationship when he would promise to get sober and clean and then the, by the, the first drink would be a, a, a huge fight and it would, um, yeah. Okay, are you finished? Uh, yes. Okay. And, and, and so I'm assuming it would be true that you uh, didn't encourage him to drink while he was at the party that night, correct? Um, are you asking me if I encouraged him to drink? Yes, alcohol. I would never characterize um, mm, no, I would never I would never characterize it like that. I would never say that. Okay. I would never say I was encouraging them. Okay. Or supporting, correct? I, I depends on what you call supporting. In favor of him drinking. Emotionally, I would be never, ever in favor of him drinking. Okay. And would that be the same for on April 21, 2016, Johnny using drugs? What are you asking me? Whether you would encourage that, that Vague, you do that. Vague is the term drugs. What do you mean? Uh, uh, Non-prescription drugs. Uh, Drugs. Bag. Which? Cocaine. I would never, ever be supportive of Johnny using cocaine. Marijuana. I hated that he smoked marijuana. Okay. I could not always express direct opposition to him depending on what his state was and how lost of a cause that would have been, how many fights it would have incited depending on where we were in our game of never again, never again, never again. Okay. Showing you what we previously identified as exhibit, uh, respondents exhibit L. Could you take a look at that, please? Um. Ms. Hurd, did you have a chance to look at those? Uh, I did. That two-page text, uh, Respondent's L? Yes. Okay. Did you send that text to Mr. Uh, Depp on April 21 at 9.40? I don't remember sending that. Did you uh, communicate with Johnny Depp uh, uh, during the evening of April 21 and ask him how he was doing? I don't remember sending these specifically. Okay. Do you and have any? They're at 940. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming I sent these because it says okay. slim and that's Probably me. Slim as you? Okay. Yeah. And isn't it, is it true, I just want to know is it true, that uh, prior to Johnny uh, arriving at the party, you sent him a text that said, quote, hey baby, bring up something to drink and or a joint. Did you say that to him? That 
It says that I sent that to him. I don't remember what context that was. Do you deny um, saying that to him by text uh, prior to his arrival at the party? No, I am not denying that. I'm just saying I don't remember having done it. I, okay. I don't remember every text message in the context of which it is. For instance, I know that if he's, just an idea, um, the context matters and there are many other people at that party who might be asking for joints that he would be. He, there are a lot of people at the party um, that would have asked or appreciated him bringing up a joint or a drink. Does anyone remember when I said a telltale sign of of lying is piecing a sentence together? Yes. One word at a if he would come up and perhaps there were. Notice how she even says she tells on herself right before she she spouts this off. She goes, eh, you know, I was thinking with the context and she looks at her, she looks at her counsel and goes, and this is just an idea. Like, I'm just going to throw this out there, see if anyone buys it. This is just an idea. Just an idea. I'm just throwing this out there. There were more people at this party. And maybe that's the context, you know, maybe he was uh, bringing this up for them. You know, uh -huh. maybe and the fact that she's like, I hated that they're setting her up and she knows what's coming. Right. So, you know, like bring up, you know, bring up the uh, something to drink in a, in a joint. Um very very much knows what's coming i'll wind that back again and so everyone can can watch it but uh just to touch on what some of these people are saying because they're also oh uh i think i started because it could have been a super chat anyway so lisa thank you so much for the super sticker uh five dollars thank you so much lisa the kissy wissy addicts lie all the time remember and yay for pronouncing it correctly of hey. course i remembered thank you so much kissy wissy uh this is the one that i, I noticed when i popped it up there so uh, ellen oh, thank yeah. you so much for the five dollars would love to see spidey respond to this so spidey uh, for those who don't know um does some magic really some really cool stuff and does some some body language analysis as well um so yeah, I would love to have, maybe have Spidey on at some point. And uh, seems like a really cool, nice guy. If he'd be willing to come on it at, at some point. Yeah, uh, for sure. With us. Sabs, thank you so much uh, for getting through this multiple times and the fab chats and mods. Thank you. Glad we have support to get through this. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You gotta. Who you gotta lean hard God. on each other because my God. Uh, and for right now, again, thank you so much for the uh, the 10 extra. Thank you so much. Honestly, your injections, interjections with what is coming and the background info you guys spent so much time digging up really is like Rosetta Stone to her lies. Thank you so much. Uh, nice. Leah with the super sticker. Leah Dolquist. Thank you so much. Is it, uh, would you say... Fiend, fame, fiend, fame, fiend. Thank you so much for the sticker. <laughs> Z, that's easy. E Z. Oh, I'll stop. Uh, hey. True, 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 <laughs> true wife would be restless at meeting, not dinner. Agreed. Yeah. Was she drunk or high at her birthday party? Well, yes. that's funny. You should ask. Uh, because I think now is a good time to maybe. Uh, Maybe go over some stuff real quick just to just to show you. So for those who don't know, um, this is this is the texting question. Yeah, this is when she's being asked about it in the uh, UK trial. Bring up something to drink in a joint. Uh, I mean, if you are so she this is a typo. I'm in is what she meant to type here. I'm in if you are. Yeah. Uh, see you in a minute. So she's she's instructing Johnny to bring up something to drink. And some weed, which she hated with about five H's. Ridiculous. Uh, that he smoked, but hey, bring it up. No one hates weed, bro. 
It's fucking stupid. Uh, was she, was she mad? So this is from her nurse. This is from nurse Aaron Borum, who was Amber's personal nurse, uh, uh, an addict who specialized in addiction and yeah. uh, Amber's behavior and everything else. She reports being angry with her, angry with her husband because he's late. And uh, nurse Aaron provided reassurance that he would arrive. Yep. So just to kind of throw some things out here. These are notes from nurse Aaron as well. We'll wait for him to clear up. This is going to be a little blurry. This was this came out during the Virginia trial. Uh, Amber Heard, so Amber Heard reported to her nurse that she has a that she has a history of substance abuse, including an addiction to cocaine and liquor. The two things she claimed Johnny was overusing this yep. night that she knew he was using the moment he he showed up. Um, keep in mind as well uh, when Amber said that. Johnny was leaving periodically every 15 minutes and stuff to do cocaine in the back and in the bathroom that that is a uh, fairly important, I believe. Okay. Yep. Was, was Amber high intoxicated herself? This is Josh drew Josh drew. Uh, as you, as you may recall was, uh, is Raquel's ex husband now, but at the time was very much with her living in Johnny's penthouses. And this is his deposition. And he's being asked, uh, putting aside Mr. Depp's intake of alcohol that evening, had Miss Heard been drinking before Mr. Depp arrived? Before Mr. Depp arrived, and Josh Drew says yes. Yep. And then we go, we go up here. Did she seem intoxicated during, at any time during the evening? And Josh Drew simply says, yes, yes, she was intoxicated, according to Josh Drew. Um, did she use drugs? Was she high? Who knows? Who knows? At first, when Josh was asked about this, he is asked, what drugs has she used to your knowledge? And Josh refuses, flat out says, I'm not going to answer that. Busted. Busted. Because he knows that, you know, Amber's hitching her entire wagon to this idea that Johnny was the only one that used drugs or drank during the relationship. So uh, when asked about the wedding weekend, he, he specifies that she took mushrooms and wine in the wedding weekend. And in general, this is just in general. This is Josh who had been around Amber a very limited amount of time compared to anyone else uh, uh, close to Amber at this point. Uh, Josh hadn't been with Raquel for too long. He hadn't lived in the apartment for that long. He hadn't known Amber as long as Raquel or right. some of Amber's other friends had. But in general, what drugs does Miss Heard use? So to the extent that you know. So this is just what Josh knows she uses in general. Mushrooms, LSD, cocaine, ecstasy. Even going as far as to say how many occasions was he aware that she did ecstasy? And he says he couldn't even speculate the number of times. Speaking to her mood about being angry. Uh, because again, it was Johnny who was angry, not Amber. Um when she was under the influence, as you know, did her behavior change? And Josh says, yes. How did it change? Josh says, I mean, it's not one generalized uh, change. It's different circumstances, different instances each time. There were times where it was happy-go-lucky, having a good time. And there was times where it was a little bit darker. There were times it was a full range of emotions, to be very honest with you. So Josh is the one saying, um, Let me see. Josh is the one who was saying that she was the one that had the mood, the mood swings and everything like that when she would yeah. be under the influence, not uh, not Johnny. Uh, I'll say this. I'll say this for the end, but I'll okay. this and we'll go over that. But um, so was she? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Christina. Yep. yep. I did that because I saw Christina pop up there. I don't do drugs, but my wedding, which I just touched on, yes. the, the wedding, the the wedding weekend. Let's have cuddle uh, puddles. Kimmy Davis, thank you so much. Actually, let me let me thank you for, for that, Helly. Um, Kimmy Davis, thank you so much. She can't keep her story straight. There's a video of two interviews. One says she was a scholarship kid, and one says her parents saved money so she could go. Yeah. To it, Correct. She has claimed she's gotten awards for her grades, that she won scholarships, uh, earned scholarships. And other times she had to like bust her butt and teach sign language or Spanish or something. I don't know. What <laughs> um, Joy, thank you so much. 
if uh, if love for her phone to ring on, I'd love for her phone to ring uncontrollably. Oh yeah. I'd love for her phone to ring uncontrollably. Exactly. Yeah, she didn't bring her phone in with her. And that's, you're going to see that is a, uh, a theme as we move forward in these depositions. Yes. Uh, MH. Thanks Brian and Jackson for what you do. Your work has helped so many people find the truth. Thank you so much. We are, we have been uh, more than happy to help. In, yes. In and thank can. you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to us. Yeah. Thank you for listening to us and watching and, 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 really kind of giving your take on it as well. We really do appreciate you. Yeah. Let me add this back to the stream. I could have been asking for uh -oh. Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to scrub it back real quick. Okay. And take us off the screen so you can kind of see the context. Cause now all of a sudden context matters. Right. You know, they, they could play audio of Johnny puking with no context and just paint a whole picture around it. But now all of a sudden when she's telling him directly hey bring it up i'm down if you are now all of a sudden context matters and mm -hmm. let's throw let's literally throw everyone at the party under the bus exactly <laughs> and and there she'll also say that they are now their uh, johnny and her uh, it's it, their collective guests not just her close friends they were just her close friends her guests. right now now they're now they're both of them <laughs> oh god quote hey baby Bring up something to drink and or a joint. Did you say that to him? That, it says that I sent that to him. I don't remember what context that was. Do you deny um, saying that to him by text uh, prior to his arrival at the party? No, I am not denying that. I'm just saying I don't remember having done it. I, okay. I don't remember every text message message in the context of which it is. For instance, I know that if he's, just an idea, um, the context matters and there are many other people at that party who might be asking for joints that he would be. He, there are a lot of people at the party um, that would have asked or appreciated him bringing up a joint or a drink and could have been asking for for one of our other guests not Johnny and I'm looking at this and assuming I was asking on behalf of a particular person at the party or a particular couple of people at the party is it your testimony not for him You were asking him to bring up a drink for someone else at the party. When he had still not been home, and when you get off the elevator, you pass where all the, you pass the utility closet, the utility apartment. And inside that utility apartment is a wine cellar and a lot of other things. And so I'm sure I was asking him to bring in something <clears throat> for someone else because those are very common. And at this stage in our relationship, that was not one of those walk away if you're drinking iterations of our relationship. We've been through many cycles where any sort of drug use would have been a deal breaker, walk away, never again, I'm not doing this again, as evidenced in many, 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 many um, text conversations over the years that I, you guys um, hopefully have between many different people in his life, from his best friends to his sister, to his house manager, to his security, to his, um, his kids, where those were like deal breaker moments, you know, when he would start using again. And they would sometimes um, encourage me to leave him as to support Johnny's sobriety, or they would, um, and then sometimes it would be a different iteration of our relationship where I tried to stay out of it and go to Al-Anon and try not to engage in um, someone's use. So it is, is it the truth that when you asked him on April 21, uh, 2016, to quote, bring up something to drink and or a joint, end quote, you were asking him to bring those things for other people, not him to to use, correct? I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't remember the context of these text messages, but 
if I had to guess. That seems like a probable, a male likely guess. Either way, no matter if it was in reference to bringing up something from the utility apartment that he would have passed if he truly was on the way home soon and would be passing on the way there, or if it was uh, a means for me to say, hey, I'm not going to buy your head off if you come here. Please just don't flake on my birthday party. Either way, I don't remember. Okay, but either way, it's, it's true that you did not on April 21, encouraged Johnny himself to drink or do drugs, correct? Not directly, no. Okay. And I don't feel like that text message is that at all. It, is, it could be just a, I'm not, hey dude, I'm not gonna be mad at you just because you're high and drunk. Please just don't flake on my birthday party. He'd stay out a lot these days in, um, <coughs> And, and avoid coming home, and I was afraid that in part of part of that was because he felt I would be judgmental of the state he arrived in. Okay. So you testified earlier that you did not delete any text from your cell phone, correct, relating to these events, not correct? That and these texts that we're talking about would still be on your cell phone, correct? No, because these are from April 21st. This immediately proceeds when he threw my phone out of the window. It's a 13th, 14th floor window and it was smashed and... Um, is there, is there uh, some reason to believe you don't still have these texts? Exactly what I just told you. You don't still have these texts? For the reason I just told you my whole cell phone and everything in it was thrown out of the window by Johnny because he was mad at me. It's a 14th floor window. It was smashed. Did you throw his cell phone out the window? I did. Oh. Right okay. after he threw mine. I see. So, so if... But if his was covered um, in a very protective, thick leather, um, what do you call it, uh, packaging, um, wallet thing, and it was pretty protected on both sides. I threw it and then immediately had it retrieved because I felt bad. Okay. My phone was out of a cover. It was just by itself and so it was lost and never, we never found it. So it's fair to say, and I don't want to put words on the mouth, yeah, that's but okay. you didn't feel bad about throwing his phone because it had the protective cover? Vague and ambiguous. It misstates her testimony. Yeah, I'm, uh, he threw mine out of the window first and then um, and then I threw his. Drawing your attention back to the text on April 21 that we referred to beginning, hey baby, bring up something to drink and or a joint, two question marks. Is it true that you followed that and wrote to him, quote, I'm in if you are? Yes. I, I drink uh, um, wine. And by referring to if you are, you are specifically saying if you are into drinking and, and smoking the joint, correct? If you're into bringing the wine up. Ms. Uh, Hurd, uh, what had you had to drink? Uh, on April 21, 2016, that was alcoholic at the t time, you say that you observed Johnny arriving to your birthday party late. Uh, I had had a glass of red wine. Um, I don't remember which kind. Just one glass? Uh, yes, it was just one glass. Okay. Had you ha ingested any cocaine uh, by the time Johnny had arrived at your party on April 21, 2016? No. Had you ingested or smoked any other drug um, prior to Johnny's arrival at your birthday party? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, once Johnny arrived, what did you, uh, w what did he do? 
He walked in the door. Okay, what did he do next? Uh, I don't remember what his next move was, but eventually he sat down next to me. Okay, do you know how long it was before he sat beside you? No, I don't remember. Do you remember anything that happened um, at the party between the time Johnny arrived and the time the last guest had left? Uh, yes. Okay. Please tell us. Tell you what? What, what you remember. About the party after he arrived? Anything of significance that you feel is significant that to uh, these proceedings from the time he arrived till the time the last guest left that evening? Um, I remember when he eventually sat down. I remember his behavior seemed odd, as I described before. He seemed, um, he didn't make any eye, eye contact with me. He seemed to be um, shifty, uh, avo avoidant of, 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 of talking about why, why he, he, he uh, pr pretended that it, he wasn't late in, 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 or that it was not something I could respond to or would have felt. He was shifty, he was kind of um, curt. Um, my friends went around the table. Um, you know, everyone was trying to talk to him and he was, um, he was not communicative. He was, uh, I mean, he was communicating in a way that I guess if you know him, you recognize as odd. And um, we went, went around the table and we talked about, um, we, we talked about significant memories that he and I um, might have um, shared. Uh, we talked about significant memories that everyone has of me. And um, Johnny didn't want to participate. And I, um, I thought that was really strange. Um, and then Raquel prompted him to, to speak. And um, when he finally did speak, he uh, didn't know what to say. And um, <coughs> Raquel helped him out um, by um, offering um, a story that he has told before that is kind of sweet and endearing. And he couldn't really, he stumbled through it and then talked about my ass, talked about me being young and him being old um, and everyone at the party started to kind of look a little uncomfortable and um, and my friend uh, Amanda um, uh, looked at me and, and, and mouthed um, the words I'm sorry and when he was done talking um, Raquel uh, I grabbed Raquel's hand, squeezed it, and said thank you for trying to make that work because um, it was my 30th birthday and he was the only one who was not able to really participate in it. Okay. And in terms of the uh, text you, s you say you sent Johnny before he arrived at your birthday party on April 21, stating, quote, Hey baby, bring up something to drink and or a joint. I'm in if you are. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when he arrived, did he have a joint with him? I, I, um, I believe so, yes. Okay, what did he do with it? I don't remember. Okay, should we pause? I'm being informed that we need to switch our media. Okay. This marks the we end can just of stay. The end of media number two in the video deposition of Amber Depp. The time is approximately 3.13 p.m. And we're going off the record. All right.
the end. Fuck. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, oh. it's 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 uh, a bit torturous sometimes, isn't it? Um, it's oh yeah. my goodness, folks. All right, so let's. Um, I have a, I have a theory, and I kind of want to go over this really quick. Um, do it. Amber says she she testifies that Johnny was leaving every fifteen minutes. No one else. Uh, after he got to the party, no one else testifies that Johnny left once he got there. Obviously, Johnny got there at the end, so how could he leave every 15 minutes if he was only there for the end right. of it, correct? Um, Amber's the only one that says that. And why? That's because Amber, according to Christy Sexton, who was her acting coach, and maybe still is not to some degree, but at the time was her acting coach, said that Johnny was upstairs. Johnny wasn't upstairs. Johnny was at a right. meeting. Johnny was at a meeting. However, this is Chrissy's testimony. It says a solid two or three hours before Johnny came down and joined us. So they ask, uh, Johnny's counsel asks, so what What you're saying is that he was upstairs refusing to come down and was very late for the party. And she said, that was my understanding. So Christy Sexton, Amber's acting coach, was being told that Johnny was upstairs pouting because uh, he and Amber had had a fight. And that Amber uh, could not get Johnny to come downstairs. So Amber was telling party guests, not that Johnny was at an important business meeting to try and like recoup stolen millions. Yep. Not that he was going through any kind of hardship, but that he was being this a-hole upstairs that would not come down and join the party. Because that made it look even worse for him. Because now he's upstairs, he's right there, and he's just refusing to even come down. Um, Bullshit. I mean, it's yeah, it's like he couldn't have left every fifteen minutes. And so then we have this. It's amazing uh, that she told people this, like knowing where he was and that there was, yeah, you know, proof of where he was. She, yeah, she knew there was proof and everything. Exactly, she knew exactly where he was, but she was like, "I need him to be the bad guy here." Right. Yeah. I can't I can't be the jerk who's mad at my husband for being at a very important business meeting. I yes. can't I can't be that. He has to be the bad guy. There's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser and that's how she treated the entire divorce in my opinion. Yes. There was there was going to be a winner and there was going to be a loser. Johnny was already leaving her uh, just after his mother's passing. He told her, "This is over. We're done." But she thought, "I need to strike first. And yes. if if all the truth about me comes out, I'm ruined. So she struck first. Yep. So we have this where uh, Christy's continuing to be asked. Just a minute. So you were asked, Miss Sexton, whether you knew that he was upstairs, but actually uh, he was not upstairs, but actually in a meeting. Did you know that? And she said, no, I she did not know he was at a meeting um, that Christy Sexton was not told he was at a meeting. She was told he was upstairs. She said, well, if he was at the meeting. Yes, I was relaying what I heard at the party. Uh, she would continue. I know Amber went a couple of times. Maybe Whitney went or Rocky. So Whitney, Rocky, and Amber were the ones leaving the party to go, up, upstairs. to go upstairs. And Amber said that when Johnny would leave to go upstairs every 15 minutes, it was to do coke, and she knows he was doing coke. So Amber, who in her, in her own medical notes, has a self-admitted history of cocaine and and uh, alcohol abuse yes was going upstairs and saying that johnny was the one that kept leaving the party to do cocaine but instead amber not only does lying and say johnny's upstairs and we can't get him to come down not only does that make him look like the bad guy it's a double whammy it also gives her an excuse to keep leaving the party until johnny gets there yes so she gets to keep leaving the party to do i don't know i don't want to say but who knows why Something. she keeps she keeps leaving the party for some reason and telling people she's going upstairs to deal with Johnny and he's not even there. So she's asked Miss Sexton, uh, you're being uh, da, 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 you're being asked whether you knew he was not upstairs and you knew that he was at a meeting. Do you agree or disagree? She says, no, I did not know that, that Amber and them, uh, that they left the party and they had gone upstairs at different points of the evening. Yep. And that took place over the course of a couple of hours. So several times she would go up there with Raquel or Whitney or both. 
Um, and of course, Whitney testified one of the few times. Remember when she said one of the few times I was sober? Um, I remember people going in and out of the party as the sun was setting until dark. So it, I don't think it's beyond the realm of possibility that Amber, again, because she does like to flip the script, was doing what she accused Johnny of doing and using Johnny and his misfortune at the time and having to deal with that as an excuse to, hey, until Johnny gets here, I get to keep leaving my party yes. because because why'd she have to keep leaving her party to do what she was doing? Because her nurse was there. Her sobriety, yeah. her sobriety nurse was there taking notes on her. So she was leaving the party and telling everyone, I got to go deal with an angry Johnny upstairs. There was no angry Johnny upstairs, but nope. it gave her a reason to keep leaving. And it also made him look like a jerk. Boom. Unbelievable. Uh, so. Yeah. Let me Luckily, get, uh, all let me... this horse shit was fully exposed and Johnny won. And oh, this... thank, thank goodness. But again, yeah, it's. Um, it's crazy how you can just. See oh, yeah. Her trying to trying to weave all this together. Um, yeah. And it's just it's just not working. And then she gets really combative uh, when it doesn't. Yeah. Has incredibly <laughs> average light in his hair. Uh, no, I spent some time uh, out west and I got a lot of sun and my hair naturally. It's I was I was a blonde growing up and then I became a hermit. And didn't see the sun for years, so now it's light, <laughs> light again. It happens. Uh, it happens. John O'Rourke, welcome back again, John. Thank you again for the two dollars. Didn't she squat this night? Yeah. <laughs> blah. blah. Uh, yes. So this is the night you heard her touch on uh, throwing the phone out the window. Of course, he threw hers first. She claims so she threw his, but there are text messages. She had her damn phone. They went to Coachell the next day. Yeah. Yeah. And she she went looking for his, uh, but there's no evidence that she was looking for hers. I don't know why she never. Let me see if I can pull this up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's save these. Save, save, save. Anyway, she text, uh, she text asking, let's see, let's see if I can find these. Here we go. Let's see if I can share this. Remove from stream. And then see if I can share this one. Window. Can you see this? It's loading. Yep. Okay. Okay, so this is Amber texting. Um, uh, who is she texting here? Who's who's? Uh, is Johnny? it? I, is it a uh, Starling? I, I think this could be Starling. Also, are you with Jay? Can you please ask him if he had uh, credit cards with his phone? I'm trying to track uh, him things down for him and get his cards canceled if they are. And then she goes on to say, "Can you please tell me?" who to call to find out our phone records. I'm trying to track Jay's phone down and I think I can do so, but I need to know if it's being used. Nothing about her phone. Nothing about her phone. And, and all of a sudden she knows her phone was destroyed, but they also never found it. So how do you know it was destroyed? Right. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is the night that after this is, you know, this was Johnny saying I'm done. I'm out. Yes. We're, we're, we're done. Don't follow me. It's over. Yep. And then, then the, the poop in the bed thing. Arby, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so much. Um, Mad Scientist 7, thank you for the $10. Thanks to you both for all you do. Honestly, if she just admit to a glass of wine or a line of Coke once in a while, I'd have found her a lot more be believable. The angel thing is a hard sell. Correct. Yeah. She... She liked to partake just as much as anyone and oftentimes more from uh, several points of testimony, yeah. uh, more so. But the fact that she says, 
I've only done ecstasy a few times in my life. I don't get shit. There's, there's testimony of her saying, I don't get drunk. I never get drunk. I just have a, she had one glass the night of her birthday. No but was, way. But, dude. but her friends even say she was intoxicated. Um, go, you could go look at her Instagram if the poster's still there and it's literally just her with wine constantly. Yes. She's I think a lot not, of people feel this way. Yeah. I mean, if she had owned up a bit more to, to her side of the right uh, drinking and drugs and stuff. Yeah. But she relied so heavily on Johnny. Like she had to prove that he drank and did drugs because she couldn't prove physical abuse. So yeah. she was like, if I can prove that he drank and did drugs, then I'm going to say, see, I proved that. So I've got to be telling the truth about this. And that's the link that she tried to make. No. And um, when you so in, show a picture of yourself at a Don Rickles event and try to say you got a broken nose and you're flawless and dude, yeah. it's a wrap. Yeah. A wrap. <laughs> Mama pink, a utility apartment. So for those who don't know, I'd have to, I'd have to pull it up. I'll actually do this. Maybe the start of our next live oh, or yeah, when I, annexed. when I, when I do the, when I do, I'll do a live sometime. I'll, I'll just like, I'll just get on here sometime soon and do a live and do the 3d apartment tour very, very soon. I think I need to do that and just set, set aside and do a short live on it. <laughs> the apartment she's talking about is the annex of penthouse five and the way it's connected, they were eating on the patio of penthouse five, which is connected to the annex. If she needed something from the annex, she's actually could stand up from the table and go get it herself. Uh, she could step, take two steps and be in the annex apartment, the utility apartment to get whatever she needed. But she's, she's banking on you not knowing that that apartment is right there yeah. uh, for her to access. Adrian, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you. Um, oh, let me pull these up. Uh, Yeah, let me share these. Share screen window. Oh, I can't find them. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, go to my Twitter. See my super stickers. Uh, yeah. And because that's I'm working on a whole slew of them. Light giver. Light giver. Welcome back. Recognize that name. Thank you so much for the 20. Thank you, Brian. Now, every time she gets caught, I'm hearing dun, dun, dun <laughs> in my head. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. You see her eyes get bigger. She starts stammering. Brandy, thank you so much. Uh, her talking softly now reminds me of Curry's testimony about how she takes on others' traits since the lawyer's been talking like that from the jump. That's a very good point. It is. I like that point. Dr. Curry said that she would emulate and take on other people's characteristics. And up, up to this point, Blair has been very calm and it's been getting under Amber's skin. So now she's trying to, to emulate that. That's a very good point. Thank you for yeah. that, Brandy. Uh, Allie. Thank you so much, Allie, for the five. He was worried I would be judgmental proceeds to be judgmental. Yes. <laughs> also, I didn't feel like sometimes you just didn't feel like fighting it. So you encouraged it. Yeah. You know, like, okay, whatever. I don't. She makes no sense. Uh, Mama Pink, thank you so much. Just listening to her depot makes me want to drink and and enjoy. Yeah, yeah, it does. I, I, you gotta, you gotta mellow out. I can't imagine living with her. She had to promise to not bite his head off. Jesus, what WTF? Like seriously, I promise. I promise. I'm not gonna be mad. Okay, Anna, oh thank you God. so much. She, <laughs> go ahead. The, these dudes are these guys are pointing out that uh, today is August twelfth, so this is six years to the day, basically. Oh, of this deposition. <laughs> six years to the Holy day. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we knew what we were. We we did that on purpose. Oh my god! Um, didn't. Amazing. <laughs> thank you, Anna. Thank you for everyone pointing that out in the chat. Uh, she feared for her life, so she ensured there were no phones in the apartment to call nine one one if he threatens her life. Yeah, that's totally logical. Yeah. 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 That makes perfect sense. Marianne. Good to see you again, Marianne. Thanks always. Thank you for the 25. It's so generous. Thank you Thank so you, much. Marianne. Um, how did she know that her phone was completely smashed? If they could never find it again. LOL. Q clown music. Yeah, exactly. Mo $10. Did you touch your toes? 
I had shoes on that I bought when I was in France when Johnny was high. So I don't know if the shoes would have allowed me to touch my toes. What are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. exactly. hundred percent. Always. What are you asking me? Are you, mm -hmm. I'm asking you exactly what I'm asking you. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to scroll through here a little more as people kind of, I think there are some people getting caught up uh, with the video. Some started late. Some, I don't know what time it is. Uh, someone pointed out when I did the poll that this was a certain time in Tokyo and Australia and early oh, morning yeah. in places and late night in places. So it might not be the worst time of, time of day to do this. Uh, let's pull this one up. She says her phone was smashed. Didn't security say that they had her phone the next day and was using the find my phone app to find Johnny's phone. Yes, they were using the find yes. my phone app. Uh, and I can only assume they were, uh, using her phone. And also it says Amber cell on that text message. <laughs> the text message I pulled up says Amber cell on it. Yeah. Um, or it's yeah, she's texting. Uh, she'll say that she used her, uh, iPad. IP iPad. Yeah. She'll yeah. say that she used her iPad to do it, which is, I know that's, that's a thing that is doable. You can, you yeah. can link, you can link the two and text, uh, using them. So I don't want to say that that's not something that can happen. Uh, it, it very much is, but, uh, I just, the fact that there was no discussion of where her phone ended up or shattered or anything else. Nope. Let's see here. What is the Toronto fight about? She brings up. Um, Toronto. We, don't know so we exactly. still don't know. Yeah. We still don't know exactly what, um, you know, what the genesis of that whole argument was. We know she doesn't want to talk about it. But there's we, a lot of stuff that went on that during that trip. There's the London Fields debacle, which I have a video up on my channel about the lawsuit yeah. that uh, she got sued over basically self-sabotaging that movie. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of things that happened surrounding that movie in Toronto. So I think that's a big part of it. Plus there's Black Mass and um, the Danish girl. She wound up dragging Johnny that Danish girl premiere and he got in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for that. It's, yeah. People were not happy that he went to the Danish girl premiere and basically stole Eddie Ray, Eddie Redmayne's thunder on the red carpet there. Um, well, speak of the devil. Jax. Hey. Has, hashtag Jax is the bomb diggity. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Already Thanks, excited. John. That's super up. nice. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's really nice. Even if it is a lot. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, okay. I just saw an eggplant in somebody's thing. No way. Oh, yeah. Yet. I saw that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm late. We should have waited a minute. Thank you so much, though. Wait a minute. Thank um, you. Amber Lindsay, thank you so much for the ten dollars. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, that's my kind of dialect there. Yeah, yeah. From the south. <laughs> Southern gentleman, I try to be. Someone says <laughs> this one. This is not a super chat, but this is fine. Nice. Smart now. Um. All right, everyone. So, a little shy, two hours, forty yeah, very minutes, good. four minutes, forty minutes or so. So everything's been two hours plus. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and say the see you laters. This is going to wrap up part four, which is also going to complete volume two. And then yeah. volume two will go out without any of our commentary, or anything over it. But I think this was a very informative live, uh, this go around. So I encourage you to, uh, still watch it. Go check out Jack's over at movie myths and monsters. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. I will, uh, link stuff like that in the bios. If you don't already know, uh, Squirrel's been putting all that stuff in the chat anyway, so we we really do appreciate you, Squirrel. Yes, thank you and, to all the mods uh, and to Secret and all the Squirrel. mods. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate you guys very very much. We'll be doing another one of these soon. I'll be talking to Jax about uh, getting the next part out. I think we're we're halfway home. I, there yep. are this, this completes volume two. There will be four volumes in total and two parts to each volume and. Yeah, that's it. So until next time, if there is a next time, take care and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>